I really think uh, a lot of my peers who might be relatively new to the industry have a tendency to jump right into a problem head first, but the software engineering program and especially Suzanne Barber's requirements and architecture class really showed the value in taking a step back and investing a much greater percentage of your time into the upfront architecture development of the software product or the project that I'm working on and then spending less time on the, impl on the actual implementation. Uh, it turns out that in the course of my day-to-day -day job, spending the additional time on the architecture and looking at testing requirements and then finally going into the implementation, the implementation was a lot easier as a result of that rather than trying to hack my way through and make it up as I go along. One of the biggest takeaways I got from that class was just the notion of contingencies in your estimates because project, all engineers and project managers are optimistic by nature and just forcing yourself to include these contingencies and the slack time being able to incorporate those into the project timeline and draw upon them when needed really helps deliver a successful product or project in the end. I mean, it's always better to under-promise and over-deliver versus the other way around. I think being able to select my own classes and from a list of predefined courses offered by the Option 3 program was a huge strength because one size does not fit all when it comes to degree programs and I think be, some people might prefer a very deeply technical software engineering track. For me I preferred a combination of project management and uh, technical and so that really helped me. Um, I, I saw it as an absolute strength to choose these courses and tailor it to what I felt my career would need to get to that next level.